Hey, and welcome to Board with Life News for January 25th. Today I'm going to talk about Spirit Island, Seventh Cross, Rhino Hero Super Battle, Valletta, and the Kickstarter for Dusk City Outlaws. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm Chris. Welcome to Board of Life News. Up first, Fabled Nexus has announced that they'll be releasing Spirit Island. This is a cooperative game for one to four players. Players take on the roles of like elemental spirits. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Elemental spirits of an island, and you're trying to protect the island from colonists that are wrecking it and stuff. It's got really evocative art. I really like the theme. It's a nice creative theme, and it's going to be coming out June 2017. Level 99 Games announced Seventh Cross. This is a roguelike dungeon exploring game where you're, of course, going to be battling a bunch of monsters and dungeons like a lot of dungeon diving games. It's for two to six players. It's got really nice anime-inspired art like a lot of Level 99 games. A thing that's a little bit more interesting is it's going to be it's going to have some of like storytelling things like Tales of the Arabian Nights or Betrayal at House on the Hill where you're going to be like reading paragraphs out of books. So there'll be a stronger narrative and it's more of like a Castlevania or Helsing vibe, which I really really like. Um, so that seems pretty exciting. There's going to be campaign modes, all sorts of different stuff. So I'm definitely uh, have my eyes on this game. Haba announced Rhino Hero Super Battle. This is their follow-up to the very popular dexterity game Rhino Hero, where you're stacking cards. Uh, Haba makes games primarily for children, ostensibly, or uh, adults at conventions, or drunk adults, so I quite like Haba games. Um, in it, it's going to add battles between four different superhero figures. Before, you only had the Rhino Hero, now there's like a giraffe and a bat and different stuff like that. And it looks like it's going to be much larger. The uh, picture they showed, there were two bases that kind of went up into one stack. So um, I'm pretty excited about this one because Rhino Hero is a really fun game, so I'm excited to have kind of more of it and a different take on it. Hans M. Gluck announced Valletta by Stefan Dora. This is a two to four player city building game. There's not much info about it aside that it's a city building game. I'm talking about it now because I really like Stefan Dora, especially his game Medina, which was another sort of city building game, I guess, a little bit. But um, definitely keeping an eye on this one because I really like the stuff that Hans M. Gluck puts out. And I really like Stefan Dora's design. He usually designs kind of lighter Euros, which are sort of my fair. So looking forward to that one. This week's Kickstarter is for Dusk City Outlaws. This is a tabletop role playing game. It's going to be sort of like an Ocean's Eleven style thing where you're a bunch of thieves and thieves guilds and such, and you have to get a crew together to pull off one big heist. Uh, but it's all set in this like fantasy setting that's very cool and evocative. It's designed by Rodney Thompson. He helped on uh, he was one of the people that helped on Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition, as well as co-designed Lords of Waterdeep, a game I like a lot, and Tyrants of the Underdark. So he has a really good pedigree. So this isn't getting somebody from you know somebody unproven or anything like that. Uh, it is a little pricey. It's sixty five dollars right now on Kickstarter, but that gets you a box set with all sorts of goodies. So yeah, definitely go back that if that sounds interesting to you. That's the news for this week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well as follow me on social media. I'm at Chris Bryan Games. Also, make sure you check out my Patreon, which is the only reason I'm able to do these videos week to week. Um, and maybe there's something on there that interests you and you could throw a dollar my way and I would very much appreciate it. This week's question comes from at records his plays via Twitter. And they ask what popular older game would have the same effect if it came out today? So I was thinking about this and the question is kind of hard because I'm going to assume that every game other than that game still exists, which means that every iteration of a good idea... So, like, Dominion had was the first game that really embraced and kind of had the mechanic of deck building as the central thing. Well, now, if Dominion came out, it would just be one of hundreds of deck building games. So any game that was really revolutionary at the time usually introduced, like, a new mechanic or a new idea, and then people iterated on that. So a game like Werewolf that I think is brilliant... I think there are better versions of Werewolf that don't have player elimination and things like that. They're different. I still like both, but I think if the game Werewolf came out today, people would be like, this is weird. This is really long. It has player elimination. Why wouldn't I play this shorter one that doesn't? So there are not a lot of games that had a huge impact at their time that didn't also kind of like then inspire a whole slew of hundreds of other games that were similar. But I came up with a couple. Um, I think two main categories kind of stay on the test of time. One that have strong social dynamics um, because mechanics change and all that stuff, but kind of like your group and how you interact won't. And so Cosmic Encounter, I think, is like the clear, obvious thing. It's a 40-year-old game. I think if it came out today, people would enjoy it the exact same way. I don't think they would go like, this feels like an old game or anything like that. So Cosmic Encounter, definitely there. I think the other is really elegant games, very simple games. So a game like No Thanks, which isn't that old. It came out 13 years ago. But I think a game like No Thanks feels exactly as correct today as it did back in the day. But then you go way back, and I think a game like Go that's over 4,000 years old, I think Go is one of the most elegant games ever designed, and I think, obviously, abstract games are not as big today as they were thousands of years ago, 
But I think if Go came out today, people would really be enamored by the simplicity of the mechanics uh, and that sort of thing. So Cosmic Encounter, sort of no thanks, and Go are my answers to that question. That's a good question. I had a lot of good questions this week. Sorry, I didn't answer all of them. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next week. <laughs>